Protein supplements may be classified as animal or plant protein, as earlier discussed in the last topic. Animal proteins used in animal feed or livestock feed or poultry feed come from inedible tissues from meat, packing, or rendering plants, meat products, and marine sources. Those used in livestock feed include 1. The bone or blood meal, the poultry byproducts meal, the bone are extracted from the animals, most especially the cow, the cattle. The bones are useless to the sellers for them. It is a source of calcium. Therefore, if you are in area that you can locate where they throw away these bones or some markets where the butchers sell their meat, you can get the bone at a very cheap rate, if not free. How do you process the bone, assuming you get it free or you buy it at a cheap rate from the butchers? How do you process it to be a source of casual for the poultry animals? One, you collect all the bones, spread them on the sun to dry. That will enable them to be able to be set a place. You gather them together, put fire on it. It burns till the end. And once the bone burns, it does not turn to ashes like wood. It remains like bone also. The only thing it does is that it burns off all the flesh, all the fats, and all the oil in it. And it remains the casual sauce. And that bone is also set in a crushing machine to crush it to powder. And you miss it in your feet. You don't just put all the bone you gather. There is a right proportion. There is a quantity you need depending on the particular product or the particular feed product you want to produce. That This will be discussed in the next topic for you to know the ration. And that ration depends on your own feed formula. And the feed formula also depends on the particular animal you want to feed. The formula for broiler starter is different from grower. It's different from finisher. It's also different from layers feed. The content of casium in layers feed is also different from the content of casium in starter or finisher. When we discuss feed formulation, you will know more about this. But right now, I'm only telling you how you can pre how you can preserve, prepare all those locally sourced raw materials you can use to produce your feed at a cheaper rate. After burning the bone, you gather them together when they are cold and place them in a sack, cover them properly well. The next one is the meat meal. Some of the bears, some of your bears that die in your farm, you don't throw them away, you don't bury them. You can as well process them as meat meal. You can cook them very well dry them very well, preserve them, and crush them as a source of protein. The blood meal contains up to 88.9% crude protein, while the bone meal contains up to 50% crude protein, and it as well contains cashew. The next one is the fish meal. As I earlier said, we have different types of fish meal. Fish meal prepared from whole fish are 
appears to be a better protein supplement than other animal proteins. But fish meal does not appear to be essential in the diet of catfish. Animal proteins can be replaced by plant proteins in catfish feed without affecting growth and feed efficiency. The main plant protein source used in catfish feed are oil seed, soya bean, cotton seed meal and peanut meal or granite meal. Some other oil seed meals could be used but are not generally available on a timely basis at an economic cost per unit of protein. A brief description of animal and plant protein sources that can be used in livestock feed is given as a source of completing the protein requirement of that particular animal. The energy supplements are feedstuffs that contain less than 20% crude protein. They are the ones called the energy source because they are less in crude protein and they have high energy. They are now used to supplement the energy source. They include the grains or the grain briar products and animal fat or vegetable fat or vegetable oil. It's also important to include no protein energy source in catfish diet because they are the most economic source of energy and they prevent dietary protein from being used for energy. Energy sources typically used in economic catfish feed include the corn, the corn screeding, wheat grains, wheat middlings, rice bran, and animal fats or fish oil. These are the things you use for catfish. Now, when you talk about the plant protein sources, which, in, which measures in soya bean, granite cake, cotton seed, pancanel cake, and others. The soya bean meal contains crude protein of up to 48%. The fat content is about 1%. It has crude fiber of 3%. The lysine is 3.2%. The methionine is 1.5%. Then the cotton seed meal has 41% crude protein, 2.1% crude fat. It has 13 point or 11.3, 11.3, yes, 11.3 crude fiber. 1.76 lysine and 1.1 methionine. The peanut, which is also a vegetable protein source, has 45% crude protein. It has 5% fat. It has 12% crude fiber. It has 1.5% lysine and 1.1% methionine. The fish meal, depending on the type of fish meal, talking about or you are using are you using the imported one you have the 72 percent type you have the 65 percent type then the meat and bone meal as I earlier said the meat and bone meal has 50 percent crude protein 8.5 percent crude fat 2.8 percent fiber 2.6 methionine and 1.1 lysine I all, all I have already given you that of the blood meal that has almost 90%, that's 88.9%, almost 90%, but 88.9%. But if you are from letting your own feed and you prepare the blood meal by yourself, it is not important. Use average of 85% good protein. Then we have the fish offers. The catfish over all those extracts they remove from catfish before eating. 
has about 58% good protein, 11% fat. It has um, methionine 4.19 and lysine 1.9. We have the poultry byproducts. All the all the dead animals in your poultry. They contains about 58% good protein, 14% fat, 2.5% fiber. 2.57% lysine and 2.04 methionine. Another very good source of crude protein, animal protein, is the hydrolyzed feather meal. Feather meal is very rich. How do you process, how do you process the feather meal? These are the feathers of all the animals like um, turkey, chicken, ostrich, dog, geese. When they are processed, they are very rich. They are the second in animal protein after the blood meal. It has about 85% crude protein, 2.5% fat, 1.5% fiber, 1.05% lysine, and 3.55 methionine. It is very rich in methionine. We have the canola oil or canola meal, which has about 8% crude protein, 3.8 fat, 11.1 fiber, 2.3 lysine, and 1.2 methionine. This last dry grain is one of the good source of vegetable protein. Is from waste from this last. All these people that um, prepare this local gin, this local drink. I don't know what you call this drink in your own area, but those of us in Nigeria here, we have um, in the north, the in north, I think they call it brukutu, brukutu. That's what they call it. This. Or, f- or west from the um, alcohol companies like breweries, they are a very good source of protein, and they are west. Most companies throw them away if nobody comes for it. Most of the local um, distillers also throw them away if nobody comes for it, especially in the rainy season. You can gather them, you can go there and pack them, or pay them a little amount of money and. Take it. It's a um, very good source. It's a, it's a very good source of protein. It has about um, twenty nine percent to thirty percent, twenty nine to thirty percent, to the average of twenty nine. Crude protein, which is very good, something that pe- people throw away, has up to thirty percent crude protein. It's it very good. It's not something you, it, you don't have value for it because they have used the they have used that particular grain to produce their alcohol, which we drink. Is the waste the leftover? That we are talking about and that has up to 30% crude protein. It is very good. And it has an 8.4% fat. It has 7.8% fiber, 0.81 lysine, and 0.98 methionine. We now go to the 